Good morning, everyone. Uh, Carol here from Aquahaven747.com. Uh, I finished renovating my kitchen uh, a few years ago, and I thought now might be a good time to uh, do a little bit of an update, what worked, what didn't, what's changed. Um, if you are thinking about renovating your kitchen, whether you're planning on using IKEA stuff or not, um, some of the things I have to say might be helpful to you. Um, I just finished doing my deep cleaning or spring cleaning, well, it's not really spring here yet, uh, of my kitchen cabinets and I thought now would be the perfect time to do it while things are still relatively clean. Um, they're already starting to get dirty. But uh, anyway, without further ado, I will get into this video. my kitchen now and um, I will try and insert a little uh, before picture uh, so you can see what it looked like when I first moved in it actually took me almost seven years to completely renovate this kitchen because I had to do it in stages I couldn't afford to do it all at once so let's get into it okay starting by the back door here that goes into the garage I have a um, thermostat there because I now have heated floors here and I am loving that because this side of the house was always really cold. Um, I have still have my step ladder here because I'm only 5'3", I cannot reach those top shelves. Um, I have the same little um, shelf and hook thing that's working out fine. I moved my fire extinguisher over to this corner. And uh, there's my Misha. Yep, still have my boots there on the boot tray. So that is it for the entrance. Now going on to this cabinet, I have reorganized a few things in it. I am loving, loving all the um, cabinet lights and under cabinet lights. So there's a definite plus right there. Uh, since Misha came to live with me, obviously now I've got some dog stuff hanging up. I've got a, an extra thing for her dog food. And actually, a couple of these canisters have been taken over with her stuff. There's treats in one, there's poo bags in another. So that um, is all that's changed right there. And in this cabinet, not too much has changed. But I gotta tell you, I really love these extra drawers, these extra narrow drawers that fit in there. And I also really love the inserts that you can buy um, for Ikea so that they fit in the drawers perfectly. There's a little bit of an angle on all the drawers, um, so they fit better than the other um, drawer organizers. And uh, you can get the bamboo ones or you can get cheap plastic ones. And you don't have to buy everything all at once. I, that's one thing I really do love about Ikea. When I first moved here, there was an old fridge right here. And every time the front door opened, the door on the fridge would pop open because it needed new seals. And rather than waste money buying, uh, you know, buying new seals for it, which I think were going to be like $150. It's ridiculous what they charge for fridge parts. Um, I thought, I, I want to get a new fridge anyway. I'll just buy the fridge first. And, you know, I, I ended up buying that pretty much within a month or two of me moving in. Um, and what I got was a huge side-by-side -side fridge with um, a water dispenser and um, anyway, the, the plan was, I'd always planned that I would move the fridge from here over to my pantry wall here when I did my pantry. And my pantry wall was actually the first set of cupboards I actually did. But my first mistake was buying this huge, gigantic fridge. Um, I did end up eventually moving it over here and then hooking up the water line and um, and then I ended up switching it out to this counter depth fridge because the original fridge that I bought it's mistake number one um, it's stuck out to about here 
yeah, stuck out to about here. So the counter depth one I got, um, oh, probably about three years ago now, maybe four, going on four years now. So that has worked out a lot better. So the original stove that came with the house was white and white does not go with the stainless steel fridge I got. So, uh, I mean, it worked perfectly fine, but initially I changed it out with a stainless steel uh, stove that I got on Facebook Marketplace. And, uh, you know, it was okay. It worked fine too. I ended up selling that again. And then when I got the new counter depth fridge, I ended up, uh, getting the stove at the same time. It was a little bit of a deal if you bought two appliances at the same time. So I got the new General Electric um, uh, stove here. So this is working fine. I love it. It's self-cleaning inside so it's not um, really hard to keep up. Um, and I also really love the fan over above it and um, you know Love the lights on that as well. So that, that's that been working fine. Um, I've already mentioned I love the cabinet lights. Another thing I really liked about these IKEA cabinets is that all the shelves are adjustable. You know, it's got all the little holes, so depending on what you want to put in there, different heights of things, you can um, you can adjust the shelves. So that's really nice about that. So here is my farmhouse sink, and it is beautiful, yes. But I hate to say it, this is one of my regrets. White sinks are notoriously hard to keep clean, and this one got a crack here shortly after it was put in. Now, of course, this is long past the time that I could have returned the sink anyway, so I just have to live with it. It doesn't affect the function, but I know it's there, you know. But if I was to recommend anything about buying a sink, do not go with white. And I know there are some racks that you can buy to uh, help protect it from cracks and things. Um, but uh, I, like I said, this happened shortly after it went in. I hadn't even got a chance to, to do that. Um, and also I would think that would be an extra thing to clean. So there is that. And, and the other bad thing about these, uh, this type of material for a sink, um, I, have, I have lost a lot of uh, wine glasses. Just saying. So, uh, you know, that, that's, that's another thing to consider. Underneath my kitchen sink, I have this pull-out trash can and compost bin. And I am loving those. Now, the original ones I had did not have the, the lids on that were on a hinge. I'm not gonna lift it because I'm sure you don't wanna see my garbage and stuff in there. But um, yeah, I really love those. And I have a similar Thing over here which was not Ikea but this is similar for recycling it's got two bins in there so those are definitely things that I would recommend you get in yours one thing I wanted to point out about uh, the dishwasher here um, originally it was on the other side of the sink there and I couldn't open it without bumping into the stove that was there so anyway, I had it moved over to the peninsula, um, thinking, you know, and, and I didn't want it right in the corner. Well, obviously there's a corner cabinet, so I couldn't put it like, right in the corner like that either. But having it here makes it very easy to stand here with it open, and then I can easily put away glasses that are right there. Or on the other side, um, I don't have to go too far just to put the uh, cutlery away. So um, I'm kind of glad that I did that. Now I know I already mentioned that the uh, cabinet shelves can be adjusted, but I recently found that my Lazy Susan height can be adjusted as well. Uh, so, and it's fairly easy. Um, 
this just gets lifted up. I had to jiggle it a little bit. And then there's like a cotter pin. Can't see it here, but there's a little cotter pin under there. And you can uh, put that in to the height that you need it. Um, so that's great. So I was finally able to find a place for my new Ninja Pot so I don't have to leave it on the counter. As I already mentioned, this pantry wall was basically the first section I did. First I bought the fridge the first year I was here and then the following year I uh, got around to uh, redoing the pantry wall first and um, it's worked out pretty well. So in my in my cupboards here I have like a lot of dry goods stuff up there and uh, you know not much has changed here I've still got my spices there and canned stuff there and down here I've got like onions um, and when I have potatoes I have some potatoes there and I also got an extra one of these drawers like I mentioned before you don't have to buy everything all at once and actually some of these I forget which one it was I actually got some of these um, uh, drawer inserts at a thrift store so I didn't even have to pay full price for them so finally got them switched out to, to these ones that fit perfectly this is my back stock of spices so when um, when the jars get empty I just refill them there another thing I really love about my IKEA kitchen cabinets is this insert in my utility cabinet and uh, yeah so I've got all my like Norwex uh, mop pads here on S hooks. Now the S hooks I just got from uh, a dollar store, but uh, yeah. So this is where I keep all that kind of stuff. My uh, mop, mop, my pail, and uh, yeah, and it just slides back in there. Perfect. Now finally, the last thing I really wanted to uh, mention about this uh, kitchen update is the countertops. Now, I love these um, granite countertops, but they are also a regret. They are a regret because they were very expensive. And when I moved here, I thought this is gonna be my forever home. So I didn't mind putting a bit more money into it uh, and getting what I wanted. However, now I've realized that I'm not going to be here forever and um, I spent several thousand dollars buying these things. I think they were uh, they were almost four thousand dollars which you know it's not a huge kitchen so you know it would have been a lot more if it was a bigger kitchen but you know that's a lot of money for countertops and you can buy some really nice laminate that look like granite or even marble if that's the look you want to go for at a fraction of the cost. So I kind of wish I had done that. And another reason I am kind of regretting this is these are very, very hard. I have broken a couple of wine glasses just by putting them on here or having things get knocked over while they're on, on the countertop. And they're also very loud. You can't just put a plate down and, and not hear it in the other end of the house. So uh, there's that to consider as well. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, I thank you for watching. If you found it useful and uh, liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, it helps my channel. And I would also love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. So anyway, that's it for now, and I will see you in the next one.